The Pixel Folds have this really sweet dock that lets you launch any of your favorite apps no matter what screen you're in. And I always wanted this on my non-foldable phone. So I started looking around and I came across Smart Dock. Just like the Fold, a quick swipe near the nav bar brings up a dock with your most recently used apps. It also comes with an app drawer icon and notification counter. Plus you can swap in even more icons like the assistant button, system settings, etc. It's also free to use, open source, and not available on the Play Store, but you can't download it from F-Droid. You know when you're on the road and instantly get the urge to use the restroom? Those are the worst times, especially since Google Maps doesn't do the best job of finding the closest bathrooms near you. So I started using LabSeeker, a free and open source app that quickly finds most of the toilets in your city. Within the Manage Locations menu, you just type in your city, hit Add, and then go to the Lavatories page. From there, you should see some public restrooms available in that area. Long pressing any of them will open them quickly in Google Maps. It's that easy. Plus you can't find it on the Play Store, only on F-Droid. And if you haven't caught on yet, that's the entire theme of this video. 12 apps that you can't find on the Play Store and are free and open source. Plus I only chose apps that are extremely useful and not very popular, so a quick thumbs up would be very much appreciated since it did take me a while to bring this list together. It also took us a while to create these dark themed Google inspired wallpapers, but I think it was worth it because they look phenomenal on any home screen. Combine them with our new fluid widgets and you got yourself a stellar setup. Only on my Patreon, link down below. Anyways, if you own a smartwatch, fitness tracker, headphones, or some other Bluetooth device, you can download Gadget Bridge to use them without needing to download the company's closed sourced app or needing to create any accounts on their servers or even needing to transmit any of your data to them. For example, I was able to pair my Nothing Ear 1 headphones without needing to download the official Nothing X app, and I could still get access to the battery level, find the headset if I misplaced them, and even change the noise canceling settings. Again, without needing to download the official Nothing app. Or for my Galaxy Buds Pro, it would still let me change the touch events customize a ton of the settings and a lot more without needing the Galaxy wearable app. Even certain smartwatches that connect to Gadget Bridge can still show you notifications on your wrist, let you control the music, show you the health activity and more. No longer do you need to keep fishing out your data to these big companies. Just keep in mind that Gadget Bridge doesn't support every Bluetooth device out there, but on their Codeberg page, they let you know what devices are supported and what features work with each device. Secure File Manager Beta is by far the best app you can use to hide and encrypt any of your files. Hell, you can even hide entire folders. You just long press the file or folder you want to hide within the app. You can even select multiple, then hit the cross out eye icon to hide it, or tap on the lock to encrypt it. From there, you can tap on the internal button and switch to hidden storage to access those secret files. It's that easy and any file you hide won't show up in any other app or within your storage space. That's until you choose to unhide them. And for those wondering, yes, this app is locked behind a password or biometric authentication method, so you're the only one that can access it. If you like a way to hide your apps, download Amarok from F-Droid. It's as simple as selecting the apps you want to hide and then pressing the hide button to make the apps vanish from your app drawer. Then when you want to bring them back, tap on Unhide. It's really easy to use. Just keep in mind that you need Shizuku to make this run on devices running Android 12.0 or higher, or anything lower, you need to have root. If you burn through your carrier's data and can't access any Wi-Fi network, but still want to go online, you can use TextNet Browser. By using SMS messaging to transmit all of its data, you can still search for anything. Look up the weather, see the news, catch the score for a game, and more. It won't be the prettiest browsing experience, but it can still come in clutch if you need to look something up while out of the house and you don't have any data. Pretty genius. Now, believe it or not, I graduated college with a degree in computer science and it wasn't easy. Not only is the subject extremely difficult, but the majority of my professors were terrible at teaching, forcing me to rely heavily on the internet. Recently though, I came across brilliant.org, which I'm lucky enough to partner up with. They made it so easy for anyone to boost their computer science, mathematics, and even science skills with interactive lessons. 
I mean, I wish I had known about this earlier because this would have made my college experience a breeze. And they don't just make you memorize a bunch of formulas or equations. They help you build your intuition to let you have the tools to solve the problems yourself. Sort of like a superpower. There are thousands of lessons to go through with new lessons added every month from foundational and advanced mathematics to AI, quantum computing, algorithm fundamentals, and more. I'm currently taking the cryptocurrency lesson because this was a subject that was never really touched on at my university, and I've already learned so much about its history, blockchains, and more. So if you're keen on gaining a competitive edge in your career by sharpening your computer science, mathematics, or science skills, visit brilliant.org slash howtomen or click the top link in the description to enjoy a full 30-day free trial. Act quickly though, as the first 200 individuals to use that link will also receive an additional 20% off Brilliant's annual premium plan. Pretty spectacular deal. Dark theming on Android has also gotten really good. Almost every app supports it, icons can be themed, it can be scheduled, and there are even some OEMs that let you choose how dark the shading should be. But what still probably blinds you at night is your bright wallpaper. That's unless you're using a dark AMOLED background like one of our new beautiful Google walls that we just created. Well, if you install dark mode live wallpaper, you can schedule a bright wallpaper during the day and then have a dark AMOLED background at night when the dark mode gets enabled. You can even choose entirely separate daytime and nighttime walls for your lock screen. If your phone storage is getting crammed, it's probably a good idea to start clearing the cache. But ever since Android 6, it's no longer possible to clear the cache for all your apps simultaneously. You instead need to do it one by one manually by opening the app's info page. Luckily, with Cache Cleaner, it'll do the work for you, clearing everything much more quickly. It's straightforward, quick, open source, and completely free. Any other app will end up charging you a subscription. The Google Discover panel is pretty unreliable for keeping me up to date with the topics that interest me, its recommendations are pretty random and some articles are just straight up advertisements. So with Discover Killer, I replaced the panel to instead open another app like Feeder, a way better RSS reader app with a much more modern looking design. And it lets me choose the sites I want to follow. Or if I like something a bit more seamless, like a custom overlay, I can use Google's entertainment space, which shows me the things I love to watch, the music I love to listen to, and even the games I love to play. The only downside is that Discover Killer does require root to run. So I'm sorry about that, but hey, maybe it's time to root again. If you need another reason to root, check out what I did to my power menu. I brought it back to Android 11, which comes with smart home controls and has quick access to my wallets with all of my loyalty cards and credit cards. On top of that, it's modernized to support mono theming, works really well. And to get this, you need to download classic power menu linked down below. And as if that wasn't a good enough reason to root, here's the last nail on the coffin. Iconify has let me modify the entire UI on my Pixel device. I mean, just look at my quick settings. It now has a few more rows, and I've removed the text to make it look cleaner. It also lets me change the status bar icons, volume panel, lock screen clock, the switches, and a lot more. It's a goldmine for any huge customizer out there. Just keep in mind that it only works on AOSP devices running Android 12 or higher. And again, you do need to have root. Last but not least, I thought I'd throw this one in there for laughs and giggles. You can have the Minecraft clock on your home screen as a widget by downloading Minecraft clock. And the best part is that the dial actually rotates between day and night in real time. You can even make it really big if you'd like. It doesn't do anything else, but it is a neat little thing that none of your iPhone buddies can do. Anyways, if you want to learn about more open source apps or other awesome apps that are on the Play Store, click on either of these fantastic videos I created in the past. Also, I'll be sure to include the Pixel 7 Pro, the device that I use in this video within the YouTube product tag feature sponsored by YouTube themselves. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!